Hey gamers, I'm Fred and we're here at Fan Expo in Toronto for Ubisoft and today we're putting on our night vision goggles and we're taking a look at Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell Blacklist. Sam Fisher is looking better than ever, probably doing loads of CrossFit, but he's back behind enemy lines in the latest edition of the Tom Clancy Splinter Cell franchise. It is the biggest, most ambitious Splinter Cell in the series. We have brought back uh, fan favorite Spies vs. Mercs multiplayer mode. We put Sam Fisher in this new challenging role of leader, uh, which means that the player now has control over a lot more aspects of the game than they ever did before. So, Sam Fisher is like Mr. Spy. Like, are we gonna see new skills, new weapons, things like that? Oh, you're gonna see a ton of new things. Um, because, you know, we have this new economy system that's driving a whole customization system that allows the player to choose what kind of gadgets and weapons they're gonna be taking with them in the field. You can definitely set that game up the way you want it. Does he have, like, a, a really good selection of turtlenecks? I, I, is this some kind of a, a thinly veiled archer reference? Is that possibly, it yeah. possibly oh, is. Yeah. Dark and darker black. So what are some new things about the new Splinter Cell that you noticed right away? Killing in motion is their huge thing, and uh, it shows. The second you get in, everything is fluid, everything moves, everything is great, it just flows. It's triple A in, in every as the sense of the word. I'm gonna let you go, but I got one more question. Spies or Mercs, who's your favorite? <laughs> well, I, you know, obviously it's spies. It's very, very satisfying to, to shoot someone in the face from like 20 feet away when they're in the, in the process of trying to hack something. Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell Blacklist is in stores now, so go grab a copy. And stay tuned, because more videos are coming your way.